Hey guys, this is Maddie and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to attempt to stretch my ears from a 4 gauge to a 2 gauge. Um, we will see how it goes. A couple weeks ago my ears got a little angry with me because I slept on them weird. So I, it's been a while since I stretched. I've been at a four gauge for quite some time and I'm sick of it and they feel fine and they're just chilling and these are kind of like falling into the holes a little bit so I think it's time. So before we get into it, first make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more content, comment whatever the heck you want to comment, and turn on notifications if you want to know when I post, if that's something you want to do. Make sure to follow my two Instagrams, my beauty one, which is Modified Makeup by Mad, and also my regular personal one, which is just Madeline McBride underscore. I just post whatever on there, nothing really important. If you just want to know what my everyday-ish is like, follow that one. So, now that we got all that out of the way, I'm sure you're wondering, Maddie, I like the zit you have right here. And I'm going to say to that, I like it too. Thank you very much. The things that you need to do this. Q-tips, vitamin E or jojoba oil. I use vitamin E because I just didn't feel like ordering something online, so I just went to the store. And the store, which is Walgreens, that I went to didn't have it at the time. So I'm using vitamin E oil, some antibacterial soap. And since I normally would be in the bathroom to do this, but my bathroom has shitty lighting, water, this is what our sink is today, and clean hands because um, you don't want to get like your nasty ass thinners and that. And also you're going to need the stuff to stretch. I right now am using tapers. I am not the biggest fan of tapers um, because it's brute force, but where I am right now and the size I'm at right now, I can't really do tape because I got these long ass nails. I'm having a hard time wrapping tape around them. I actually just got a set of glass plugs to start dead stretching, but that starts at one gauge and I don't have any of the sizes before that. So this is going to be my last taper size and I'm pretty freaking hype about that because they just kind of scare me. I really, 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 really don't want to blow out. So um, yeah, we're going to be nice and careful. To start off, we're going to look at the two size comparisons of a two gauge to a four gauge. So I got this uh, basic like stretching set from Amazon. It's stainless steel. Um, don't use anything else other than stainless steel when you're using tapers because um, other ones can get a little nasty. And I also clean these because I also don't know how Amazon cleans them. Uh, I'm going to try to show this. So that is the 2 gauge and 4 gauge size difference. It's 1 mil millimeters jump. I think the last stretch was also a millimeter. It's nothing new to me. The another reason why I don't like tapers is because I hate putting in the plugs after the tapers because I hate the little lip in them. I ordered a package from Body Art Forms that is glass plugs all the way up to half an inch. I think my goal size is either going to be three-fourths of an inch or seven-eighths of an inch. I feel like it's going to be seven-eighths of an inch knowing me. The steel tapers that I got from Amazon, they went up to double zero, but then I was reading more about it and I was like, I don't want to be tapering all the way up to double zero. This is going to be six millimeters. What I first do is make sure your hair is like out of your head, out of your face. Just remove all of your hair, but just make sure it's out of your face because it has some grease and shit in it, just whatever. You don't want to like accidentally like get that all up in your, all up in your stuff, you know? So I have my hair up, put a headband in, we're good. What I normally would use a sink for is to clean my ears because, um, there's a lot of like dead skin buildup in there and you don't want that to get all in your ears. So you want to clean them before you start stretching. I also only take the plug out of the ear I'm stretching first because um, my ears shrink down quickly and I'm not trying to get um, my ears shrunken down when I'm trying to stretch them. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like, you know, counterintuitive. So I start with my right ear because I say this is my ear that can't hang. This one has a harder time stretching than my left ear and I like to get it over with. How long you should wait before you stretch is honestly up to you. I know there's people saying like, oh, well you should, you know, wait this long or you can do it this quick. Just 
do it when it feels right. Like if your ta like if your plugs or whatever are falling through your ear, then like obviously it's time to stretch. But also if it fucking hurts to stretch, don't, don't stretch. Okay guys? Okay. Yeah, I've waited a couple of weeks. I normally am able to stretch within a week and before y'all come for me. I've had my ears stretched in the past. I don't remember what size they were stretched to. It was in high school. Mine stretch quickly. I don't do it if it hurts. And that's that. My ears are fine. My ears are healthy. So, I mean, I don't see any harm in it. All right, so I took the O-ring out of this one. So what I'm first going to do is take antibacterial soap. This is just dial, like, you know, that basic shit. I'm going to, like, massage my ear a little bit and then use my, um, sink to rinse. So let's do that first. I'm going to take out this tunnel. And this is my empty little hole get it all clean you don't want any of that nasty shit in there i'm telling you right now and we're gonna dry it off i'm using tissues i don't i get freaked out using towels because um i don't want anything that is like touched anybody's hands or whatever i just need something fresh and then next you're gonna get your vitamin e oil or whatever oil you're using i get it on a q-tip it's just easier to put on especially because i have long nails so, if you also have long nails and you're stretching your ears, use a Q-tip, bro. So much easier. And we're going to throw that one away. We're not using it again. I'm very weird about getting infected piercings. I just had to take out my nipple rings because they wouldn't stop being infected, no matter how much I tried. So, being very careful here. Then I take the taper, and this is the 4-2 gauge one. And I'm just like dipping the tip of it in the oil. Makes it easier. Now we're gonna try to push it through. Stick it in my ear. Easy. Easy girl, she went right through, bro. I usually let it sit there just to like kind of get adjusted, you know, get it like, you know, set in there, make sure she's good. And then I'm gonna work on my other ear. Obviously do not wear tapers as jewelry. Me saying I'm gonna let it sit in there does not mean let it sit in there for days. It means, like, five minutes. Okay. I get uh, fucking triggered when I see people wear tapers as jewelry. It honestly gets me, like, high-key annoyed. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing with this ear. Rinse it with antibacterial soap. Massage it with oil. And then I will come back when I'm putting the taper through. All right. Now we're going to put the taper in this ear. And this should be my easier ear. So, we're going to see. Yes. Bo show, girl. That is my easier ear. Like I said, there should be little to no pinching. If it is killing you, do not keep trying to shove it in your ear. The next segment is putting in the tunnels. And girl, let me tell you. I hate putting in fucking tunnels because it just like, they have these lips on them and I will show you right quick. And there's a little lip where the O-ring goes. They just don't like going through ears. They really just fucking hate it. So I'm gonna do my best. And um, I usually get pretty fucking frustrated, but I'm gonna do my best not to get frustrated and just try to slide it through. Like I said, it's hard because I have these nails. It makes my life like a thousand times harder. We're gonna try. I got a mirror to get up nice and close to my face. A little a hack that I do for the ladies with the fucking claws is sometimes if you use a tissue to hold your ear and not your nails so you're not pinching the fuck out of your ear it'll give you more of a grip on it oh god this taper slipping through um it'll help you grip it more because um sometimes like if you're using your nails to like hold the ear straight it will this taper keeps slipping through it will like be angry so maybe this won't be that bad because this taper does not want to stay in my ear yeah, I guess I can go right and fuck myself because that went right through. Never mind about like that whole like monologue, monologue I had about how the fucking things wouldn't go through because it did. There's my ear at a two gauge. Looking cute. Love that. O-rings. Sometimes, I don't know like if it's just like it depends on the size I'm at. O-rings will either be very easy to put in or it will make me want to die. I usually try to like put it on the tip of my finger and then just like press it on yeah okay I'm just gonna shut the fuck up forever like I'm just never gonna fucking talk ever again so yeah 
um, that was easy, making sure we're focused. Um, I'm still getting accustomed to this new camera, so if I'm ever like out of focus for a long ass time, which I was in the last video I posted, I'm sorry. And I also said in the last video I um, made a waxing video, like waxing my eyebrows, but the video accidentally deleted because I hit a button on my camera before I put it on my laptop and it's gone, but I will make a waxing video again soon because, you know, I gotta wax like every two or three weeks. Anyways, I should just put this other fucking tunnel in and shut the hell up. Okay, so the taper just like fell out and then I said, oh, maybe I can put it in and then it just went in. So, cool. That makes my life easier. No, this is a super easy stretch and you want to know why I'm fucking hype is because literally like I'm done with tapers now and I can't tell you how fucking good that feels. Like I'm so sick of tapers. They just like scare me. Like, oh, the O-ring got on. They scare me because I'm just like, bro, what if one time like I'm like, oh, the stretch doesn't hurt and I put it through and the next thing I know, my fistula pops out the back. Like I don't want that. Next is one gauge and some of you guys may have been wondering why did i say one gauge and not fucking zero gauge because i'm doing in between sizes for dead stretching i heard that's the best way to go about it so yes i'm going one gauge zero gauge and then there's two double zero gauges one that's nine millimeters and then one that's 10 millimeters i think so on and so forth up to half an inch and then I'm gonna go more than that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will be back next week. By the way, I have an established schedule that we haven't talked about yet. I will be posting every Thursday. So, that's awesome. So I will see you next Thursday with another video. I don't know what it is yet, but it'll be out. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys then. Bye!